reality of millions drastically changed after the 1929 stock market crash. All of a sudden, affluent Americans lost everything. Middle-class families became poor, and poor households fell into misery. For over a decade, our citizens have struggled to make ends meet, and many of them didn't have enough to eat. Parents would skip meals to feed their children as they were forced to survive on next to nothing. Bread lines extended for miles, and food insecurity became an epidemic. Fast forward to today, and we have what experts call the biggest stock market bubble in history just ready to burst. Even though we've learned a lot since the 1930s, our leaders continue to make the same mistakes. And now, more than ever, it's looking like history is about to repeat itself. The question is, when everything collapses, will you be prepared? According to a very detailed article published on Oscar Prepper by Catherine Peterson, for us to be truly ready for the challenges that are coming for us, we will all need to get creative with our meals. To understand how Americans survived the dark times of the Great Depression, we need to understand how to make our resources last. Back then, essentials, including meat, eggs, and milk, were in extremely short supply, and people often had to make a little go a long way, as explained by Peterson. We're already seeing the same shortages happening today, and it's just a matter of time before another financial disaster throws our economy into disarray. That's why in today's video, we've listed some very popular meals that previous generations used to eat during that era, because those recipes may soon become handy for all of us as well. But before moving on, we kindly ask you to support our work with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, here are 15 Great Depression foods we will all be eating again. 1. Wacky Cake When milk and eggs became a rare commodity and food rationing was a popular practice all around the country, this simple recipe was developed out of necessity and, of course, chocolate cravings. Unlike traditional cakes, for wacky cakes, you don't have to use milk, butter, or eggs. Its preparation is very quick and easy. All you have to do is mix up cider vinegar, baking soda, cocoa powder, sugar, flour, and dark chocolate. You can also add other ingredients you have on hand to create your own version of it. A few minutes in the oven, and then you'll have a frugal and delicious dessert or snack to share with your family. 2. Potato Pancakes This is one of the Great Depression recipes that remained popular throughout the years, and it's totally understandable why. Potatoes are cheap, very nutritious, and very filling, and they can be easily grown in many different climates. Thanks to their versatility, they served as the basis of a wide variety of recipes. To make Depression-era pancakes, you just need grated potatoes, baking powder, flour, and an egg. You can season it and add extra ingredients like cheese, onions, tomatoes, literally anything that you want. If you use a non-stick pan, you don't even have to use any type of cooking oil to fry it. It's definitely the perfect alternative for empty bellies. 3. Old-Fashioned Cornbread Although there are countless cornbread recipes out there, the Depression-era version is regaining popularity due to its short ingredient list. This cornbread features only cornmeal, water, and salt. You don't need any flour, you don't need baking powder, you don't need sugar. Depending on the ingredients you have in your pantry, you can either make the basic version that was popular during the Great Depression or improve the recipe based on what's in your cupboard. 4. Chipped Beef on Toast Meat was in short supply in the 1930s, and apart from hot dogs and beef, there weren't other options you could find or afford at the stores. So resourceful cooks created this meal, which was made with thin slices of beef and small amounts of butter and milk put over toast. It was simple and quite tasty. 
That's why it became a staple in the diet plans of U.S. officials during the geopolitical conflicts that were happening back then. 5. Coffee Soup This unique and infamous dish created by the Amish became a favorite among coffee lovers. Making this dish is extremely easy. You just have to pour hot coffee into a bowl and add some toasted bread bites alongside cream and sugar. Even though it may sound unusual, it was a very common breakfast dish back then which provided the right amount of warmth and energy to our workers. 6. Poor Man's Meal Presented by Colagira Clara Canusiara, host of the Great Depression Cooking with Clara, this Great Depression dish is a modern-day budget meal. To prepare it, you just need to saute peeled potatoes and onions in a pan and then add a little bit of tomato sauce. After that, sliced hot dogs are placed with the veggies and left to cook. If you want to make it extra special, you can also add a side of ketchup for serving. 7. Hoover Stew Named after Herbert Hoover, the President of the United States when the Great Depression began, Hoover Stew was served in soup kitchens across the country. The recipes varied based on the availability of ingredients at the soup kitchens, but the typical Hoover Stew consisted of cooked macaroni, hot dogs, canned tomatoes, and canned corn, which were put together in a pot and simmered before being served up in bowls. That was a cheap and yet filling stew that prevented many Americans from facing hunger during that difficult period. 8. Cabbage Soup Cabbage soup is super nutritious, rich in antioxidants and vitamins, but since many people didn't enjoy the taste, they used to add other veggies such as carrots, onions, also peas and lentils. The base of the soup is very adaptable and can be used on sauces to be served with pasta or dips to eat with bread or toast. For those who crave some more protein, putting in some ground beef, chicken or pork can result in a very hearty meal. 9. Dandelion Salad When leafy greens were scarce or too expensive for families to afford, they found an alternative in dandelion greens. The leaves replace lettuce in the normal salad, so the only work you'll have to prepare this dish will be washing the dandelions carefully to ensure they're free of pests and also chemicals, cutting all the vegetables you want and mixing it all into a bowl. Dandelions are great for the immune system, help with digestion, and protect your body against free radicals, rogue molecules that can damage your body's cells and make you age faster. 10. Vinegar Pie With fruits like lemons and apples hard to come by, home cooks used vinegar to incorporate some tartness into plain pie recipes. To create a vinegar pie, they layered the pie crust with butter and a mixture of sugar, flour, and nutmeg, and then added vinegar to hot water and poured it over the layered pie interior, leaving space for it to bubble up. After an hour in the oven, you'll have a sweet and tart pie, despite the absence of fruit. People often topped it with brown sugar, maple syrup, cinnamon, or raisins. 11. Meat and Potato Patties this is an excellent way to make your meat rations last longer. During the 1930s, shortages pushed meat prices to soar, and families usually allocated a part of their budget to buy a small amount of meat that will be used in many different dishes. The process of making a meat and potato patty is very similar to the process of making a traditional hamburger, but you use significantly less meat because the potatoes become the element that holds the mix together. For this meal, you'll just need some ground beef, shredded potatoes, chopped onions, flour, one egg, a little bit of water, and whatever spices you like. Combine them, shape them into patties, and cook them in a hot skillet. To make your patties extra juicy, a nice tip is to pour some tomato juice over the patties on the pan and let it simmer for a few minutes. In the tough economic environment we're in today, this recipe can be helpful to many struggling families. 12. Navy Bean Soup Traditionally made with beans and root vegetables, this was a flavorful and affordable soup that families typically enjoyed during winter months. 
navy bean soup is truly a foolproof recipe. In a big pot with some salt and pepper, add some baked beans, carrots, celery, onions, garlic, and any other vegetables you have available as well as your meat of choice. Cook the soup on low until it has the consistency you like, and voila, it's as simple as that. 13. Stuffed Peppers This dish has never been out of fashion, and even famous chefs have their own versions of it. Cut off the tops of bell peppers, take the inside seeds out, and fill each one of them with a mixture of rice, ground beef, and tomato sauce. If you have any cheese to add on top of it, that would add a nice touch. Place all your stuffed peppers in one shallow baking dish and add some water or sauce to the bottom of the dish and put it in the oven. In about 15 to 20 minutes, you'll have a tasty meal using just a handful of ingredients. 14. Goulash Goulash is a recipe you can adapt depending on what you have in your pantry and fridge. It basically consists of macaroni filled with ground beef and tomatoes. First, you cook the macaroni, leaving it a bit undercooked. And then you prepare the ground beef with whatever veggies you want or have, such as garlic, onions, carrots, and peppers, and pour some tomato sauce on top of that, also combining it with the cooked macaroni. Season it to taste and put the mixture in a baking dish. Top with some grated cheese and bake for 15 to 20 minutes. Everyone will love that budget-friendly meal. 15. Peanut Butter Bread In the Great Depression, households had to come up with economical ways to make their groceries stretch as much as possible. Many baking items were constantly out of stock or too expensive, so Americans would have to get creative with the few resources they had on hand, and that's how peanut butter bread was born. With some flour, sugar, salt, baking powder, milk, and peanut butter, they would knead everything together, starting by mixing the dry ingredients, then adding the milk, followed by the peanut butter, and then pouring the batter on a greasy pan that would go in the oven for an hour. The result was mouth-watering, and the smell of fresh peanut butter bread is still very nostalgic to many folks out there. You know, with a little bit of preparation, you won't have to panic when staples start disappearing from store shelves if you know how to adapt. You don't need many different ingredients, and you definitely don't need expensive foods to cook delicious dishes. Culinary is something very important for our culture. It was through such hearty meals that people had the drive to keep fighting to get out of such challenging situations. Food connects us and gives us a sense of purpose and identity. That's why it's so crucial to make preparations for when the essentials we rely upon aren't available anymore. The warning signs of an impending financial and economic meltdown are everywhere. And once it happens, vulnerable supply chains can be broken in a snap of the fingers. Our leaders may have made the same wrongful decisions that put us where our grandparents and great-grandparents were almost a century ago. But that doesn't mean we can't make more conscious choices this time around. So, get ready now while we're still experiencing the calm before the storm. Because when things start to spiral out of control, it may be too late. Thank you for watching.